I welcome you to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can model basement in Revit. At the end of this video, you should be able to create something like this that look like an excavated area. That is the process of modeling your basement in Revit. Without further ado, let's get started. If you are planning to have a basement for your design, when you are starting your project for the first time, ensure you have your ground floor plan a little bit above the zero level. If you look at this level now, NGL is at zero and first floor is at 3750 so in planning your work right from the beginning make sure your ground level your ground floor level should be somewhere at this level that means you may be having something like 4000 mm as your floor plan your ground floor plan okay if that is taken care of you can now start your design but in case you did not do that probably you are starting from somewhere like i am doing now in that case you may use revit link to make up for that so because of that i'm going to be using revit link now so what I will do is, I will go to my site and bring in a model. The model I will bring is, is this same shape. So what I will do is, I will go to insert. Under insert, you see Revit link. You see this one? Link Revit. Click on it and you can select your project that you want to link. I have a particular project. This is it here. I click open. If we look at it in 3D now, that project, that project is actually loaded. Can you see that? If I go to my level, my elevation, because it's a Revit link, I can easily move it up. Okay, you can see, because it's a Revit link, I can move it up. And that is the reason we have to use that Revit link, so that we will have the ability to move it up. And that is why I was talking about having your ground level at the level of 4000 mm that time. So with this now, I can choose to, to have it at 4000 mm. Let me see. If I select that link, I position it at... 4000 okay assuming i am starting this project afresh i should have allowed my natural ground level to be at this but this is okay for now so the next step is we are going to go to our site of course you know this is the original site but I duplicated it so that I can delete some things. We'll go to Masking and Site. And we'll select Topo Surface. We are just going to be on Place a Point. We'll drop just four points. That will create a rectangular platform. 
and we are going to finish it. Let this all this point be at four thousand. Let it be at four thousand so that it will blend with our natural ground level. Okay, you can see now that it is exactly at our natural ground level. All right, so the next thing we'll do is we want to create our basement that will look like as if it's an excavated area under the building. What I'll do is I will go to site and while we are still on massing and site, select this building part. Then you are going to simply pick the area that you are going to excavate for your basement. Just make it simple, rectangle. Don't make it complex because this is under the ground. There's no need to have complex shape there. Then I'm going to pick the areas that we are going to excavate. Of course, you know that this is where we are going to assess the basement. This is where the vehicle is going to flow before it enter the basement. So let's trim things off and clean this area. And let's finish it now. If you look at it in 3D now. Now you see this area is looking as if it has been excavated. Can you see that? Now let me explain why we have to raise our building up that time. If we didn't raise our building up, you will not see this one push down. It is when this is at the level of 4,000 that you see this pad being pushed down. So naturally, this pad is always pushed down to the level of zero. So if you have this platform below zero, this pad will be pushed up. But if you have it above zero, it will be pushed down. So that is the reason why we have to have our building at 4,000 mm. I'm sure that is clear now. Okay, so you can see we have something that look like an excavation now. So in the next video, I will show you how you can blend this place. So that here will look like a ramp that vehicle will enter smoothly into the basement. I hope you benefit something from this video. See you in the next video. Bye.